Live from NBC4 on the Square and broadcasting in high definition, this is NBC4 Today. Well, he's man's best friend. You know, he loves you unconditionally, and sometimes he may think he's the leader of the pack. In my house, the dog mm -hmm. runs the show. Yeah. And when you have a major life change in your life, though, experts say that you really need to get closer look at your dog's behaviors, kind of get them ready for that. And Michaela Hunt, of course, found that out firsthand. This was our house before the baby. Bentley and Barkley ruled the roost. When the doorbell rings, does your dog bark and or run to the door? No, sometimes frequently. Greg Schneider, a trainer with Barkbusters, made me take this test to get a handle on the situation. We're looking for patterns that could lead to over-exuberance or aggression with these two. How did I do? Well, we can definitely do better. Uh, it looks like you're going to be in the D plus, not you, the dogs are going to be in the D plus range. And I said, that doesn't sound good. Yeah, and we, we, we have some areas that we can improve. We, we really want to look at the things where they're kind of taking leadership away from you. Things like answering the door. Schneider taught me how to use a spray bottle and firmly say no to teach these older dogs some new tricks. Come on in. Hi, Come on in, Greg. Hi. Hi, sweeties. Yes, I like this greeting. When you have a life change, new baby, work schedule, new house, they need more complicated distractions as well. Chew sticks and, and, and squeaky toys are great, but they're not using their noggin as much. With these kinds of food puzzles, they will actually use their brain to figure out how do I get these goodies out of here. Barkley occupies himself pretty quickly with the Buster Cube. Our other tough spot is the couch. They jump up all the time. Not good if you have a baby there with you. Schneider says if you want to break this habit, you have to be consistent. If they jump up without your invitation, have them go back down on the ground. And I can't be a softie. No, I know. <laughs> and, so and you hard. might even have to do, as they come towards you like she did, no, stay. It's training you should ideally start four to five months before a big life change. Lay down, lay down, lay down, good girl. Play dead. Helping your dogs feel more secure despite the big change in their world. Michaela Hunt, NBC4. Lay down. And to take the dog behavior test, go to our website, search under Bark Busters. Of course, this week on NBC4 Today is a celebration it's a of pets. It's because golf. Friday is National Take Your Dog to Work you Day. Tomorrow, Bob is going to talk to a local vet about some of the best ways to fight big problems for pets in the summer. Of course, we're talking about fleas and ticks. Excited. Also, later um, this week, this not all pets stay at home when mom and dad go to work. Some of them actually go to work with their parents. Some of them go to doggy daycare. We're going to talk to both sides there. We'll visit a local pet daycare and find out more about dog sitting services and also talk to some folks that have the option to take their pooch to work with them. And then on Friday, of course, it's Take Your Dog to Work Day. We're going to join in the fun. We'll have a couple of special guests of our own, but that's probably the only time you're going to see Brandy right there. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Puffybutt looks like he is in charge. Oh, he is, honey. Mm. He's like, uh, water, food, mm -hmm. treats. Right now. I'm going for a walk. You okay. coming? Yeah. He's running. That's it. all this week on NBC uh. for today.